Um, Misty was talking about how she got dressed up tonight. And I asked our next performer if uh, there was any possibility of a strip tease or you know, some pasty wearing, and Kevin Vilbig said no. Under no circumstances <laughs> was that gonna happen. But he would bring us a little spoken word, so I'm very excited to bring him up, get us moving forward, Mr. Kevin Vilbig. Uh, can everyone hear me all right? Yeah. All right. Um, tonight, I'm going to talk about the day my girlfriend showed me um, our abortion. You want to talk about an image burned into your skull for the rest of your life? Yeah. The appointment was first thing in the morning. Uh, the drive there was in silence. I turned the radio off the moment I got into the car, uh, just after turning the key in the ignition. The too loud sound of clear channel alt rock just didn't feel right. Go figure, what kind of music do you listen to on the way to the abortion? Cut to the waiting room. I don't even remember sitting there with her, but neither of us had much to say. It was a very quiet place. Her name was called after a handful of minutes. She disappeared into the business end of the clinic, and I just sat there in the waiting room. My eyes felt like they were going to jump out of my head and run around on the floor screaming obscenities. I slumped down, automatically reading the various pamphlets of literature the fine folks at Planned Parenthood made available. Anything to keep my mind busy. I wasn't their primary demographic. I was the only male in the entire place. Luckily, I wasn't waiting for too long, as she opted to go for the RU486 abortion pill. It was early term. No vacuum aspirated surgical procedures this time, thanks. I've learned a lot in the past years about how that stuff works. I'm an inquisitive gent, and I've had the internet longer than I've been sexually active, and the public library before that. So I've done my research on just about every single contraceptive out there. Mostly I've relied on a little bit of luck, legions of patience, and not being squeamish about getting blood on me. She came out of the back room carrying a brown paper bag with a receipt stapled to it. As we left, she explained to me how the whole process was going to go down. It's a two-part pill. Uh, the first part is the one that actually kills the child. The second part causes smooth muscle contraction and a kind of a early menstruation and caused all that to happen. It's uh, pretty terrible, really. Um, I bought her breakfast that morning. We almost always went Dutch. Like, I'll, I'll never forget, like, I, I, I don't even know, like, what, who, who actually would, would do that? She held it in her hand and held it out to me. I, it was an orange blob about the size of my pinky fingernail. And I still remember the eye spot. It was a black spot, and I can't forget that. She walked into the bathroom and flushed it and said, bye-bye, little guy. <laughs> 